having a beautiful song to sing and having a beautiful song to sing it's like having a friend and that's a beautiful New Leaf Link is an organization that supports adults with developmental disabilities and champions their interests and abilities. It's a place where they can come together to learn and build friendships. But since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, the participants have not been able to attend classes together. Joining me now is Gary Raspberry, a musician, artist and educator who is also one of the instructors at New Leaf Link. Gary, let's start by telling me a bit about who you are and how you're involved with uh, New Leaf Link. Thank you for having me. I am an artist and an educator. My involvement with New Leaf Link has been to go uh, once a month for the past six years and uh, offer music to the participants. We sing a lot. Uh, we sing a lot of uh, playful, corny songs, and we sing some serious songs. And uh, I have learned in my time with New Leaf Link, um, when I arrived, my first few sessions with them, I was pretty nervous. Uh, I'd not worked with um, this kind of population before. I call them, you know, people with special abilities. And it felt like I was the one really with the disability when I arrived there. Um, they were very present. These are all young adults in New Leaf Link. Uh, there's a group of around 20 people that I would work with. We'd sit in a circle and, and sing and play music. And when I first met them, you know, they were requesting all kinds of songs that, uh, that I, they just, I, I was mildly uncomfortable with because there were things like, um, you know, wheels on the bus. And I, I was initially, you know, a little bit uncomfortable and embarrassed. I didn't know how to, how to um, receive their requests. And then I just realized that um, they're telling me that they love music and they want to hear music, they want to sing. And so I had to let go of my, any kind of, you know, seriousness or importance that I had as an artist and basically just enjoy my time with them. So the gift for me has been to, yeah, to learn from them and to learn from their, their spirit and their happiness and their, their, their ability to kind of be in the present moment. So let's step back and talk about uh, New Leaf Link and how it supports adults with the developmental disabilities. New Leaf Link as an organization, uh, it, it really began because there were parents with children with uh, various kinds of disabilities and they were mostly living rurally outside of Kingston. So there was no service for their families and nothing that was available for them. So um, Karen Steiner, who really is the, the founder of New Leaf Link, she and her son, Nicholas, uh, who's now um, he's still a member of New Leaf Link, uh, they basically started this grassroots gathering of families. Um, they were in Sydenham area and uh, it has grown to uh, include, um, you know, a, a, a sort of a, a number that floats around 20 participants that come from Charbot, as far as Charbot Lake, but also in and around Harrowsmith and Sydenham uh, in that area. So it, it became a way for, for parents and their children to get together and first of all, really uh, have opportunities for socialization and, and friendship. And from, from there, they really, there was an arts component to it, an arts stream. And they brought in instructors like myself as a musician to offer my, uh, my services as, a, as an artist. And they also had um, uh, another artist who was a puppeteer and another who was a, a drama specialist. So those three, the three of us would come on different times uh, and then we would work towards uh, some seasonal events that be, uh, the main one being a, a play or a production that was given to the community and to the to the parents, usually at, at the end of each semester. And so the artists, uh, we would collaborate on productions and do these presentations with the participants. There's also a, a healthy living stream. So they're looking at cooking and, and diet and exercise. And there's also some technology as well, where they're learning to navigate with various kinds of technology. Uh, 
So a big part of New Leaf Link is um, friendships are fostered and uh, connections with others are made. And that's probably posing difficult in this COVID-19 uh, times. How is the you guys adapting to keep those friendships together and to keep the, the participants together? Yes. Well, we've done like many organizations, we've used Zoom as our tool as our interface to allow us to have virtual gatherings and we're slowly building that up. Um, I'm offering my music sessions um, through Zoom and uh, we've got, um, there'll soon be a, a cooking class that will be, uh, that will be uh, using Zoom and they're also doing some, some dancing with a, a dance instructor and they're doing that via Zoom. So I think that the biggest challenge uh, again, not dissimilar to any other organization or to groups of people or families, is that uh, is making the technology work. And in rural areas, it's really internet access and internet speed um, that has been the biggest challenge. And, uh, and then the learning curve involved with uh, families who may not have used technology in the past to, um, to learn how to use Zoom and how to you know, download it and how to um, make that work with their with their home computing devices. So we're on the curve with everybody else that way. Gary, talk to me about the participants. How are they dealing with this themselves, not being able to gather with their friends and Yeah. Well that's it's a, a little harder for me to speak to because I'm, you know, I'm not in those family situations, but I am in constant contact as a board as a board member and also as, as an artist with the families. And I think that um, probably one of the most difficult things is that the participants don't necessarily understand what's happening and why. Um, so that's, there's a big gap there. Um, and I think uh, there's also a sense of um, how we would best transition as things start to normalize, so to speak. Um, you know, what will that look like? Uh, will, will there be, how will they handle hygiene? Will there be masks? Will there be distancing? Um, those kind of things are going to be a challenge for New Leaf Link. Again, not dissimilar to schools or other organizations, but in this case, the biggest challenge is probably the understanding component of really not having necessarily a sense of uh, why suddenly we can't uh, be close to one another and we can't hug each other, which is a, you know a really big part of New Leaf Link is just the again the intimacy and the the kind of loving exchanges that participants have with one another and with the instructors and with the support staff. So what are the greatest uh, benefits to the participants of being in a program like this? And what could happen when they don't have these uh, processes in their lives? Well, I think uh, the biggest benefit is, um, is enrichment in a really broad way. Uh, their lives are enriched um, by, um, by relationships, by uh, having relationships with one another. Um, so that again, being the way that New Leaf Link was originally um, formed was to provide that socialization so that uh, parents with their children could get together with other parents and their children and they can socialize. So that is really the how the grassroots of everything. And from that, we have just built on that by offering more nests of relationships. So now the participants have artists to relate to. I'm bringing music in, in particular, and I am a songwriter, and I'm also, a, I, I perform and write for children. So uh, it's a really good fit for me. We've written songs together. So we have these lively sessions where they're growing musically. Similarly with, uh, with Christine and the, and the drama program, you know, they're, they're doing movement, they're, they're performing uh, scripts um, with puppetry. They're manipulating uh, puppets with Annie Milne. Uh, they're, you know, they're so they're basically um, having lots of opportunities to grow through either the arts or through uh, skills involved with healthy living. And so all those, all the relationships that build up around New Leaf Link that we've now, you know, we're basically a, a fairly large family is how, how I would uh, uh, characterize us. And so, Gary, you wrote a song that was inspired by your time with the New Leaf Link participants. Yes. We're going to yes. hear that in a moment from you. But before that, can you just tell me what you get out of being part of this? What's uh, the biggest benefit for you? Yeah. Well, the biggest benefit, I think I've mentioned at the outset, is that uh, 
I learn from these beautiful uh, young adults, these participants, and um, they give me the the gift of of um, of their presence and their responsiveness and their um, you know w without generalizing or or sounding like a cliche, um, they tend to be very uh, much living in the present moment and very happy, and um, that's a gift for me. Uh, I I'm um, I get caught up in my own life and my own thinking and I, I get thinking how important my life is. And when I arrive at New Leaf Link, uh, I'm able to let some of those things go. Uh, so it's a big gift for me. You know, I'm, I'm always, uh, you know, I'm also, when I'm not with New Leaf Link, I'm in schools a lot. I'm doing concerts for families and children. I'm touring a lot. And it's the same, it's, it's really an exchange of gifts. So I feel that for me, I get to, uh, to give some of my gifts and also receive them. So I'm in this exchange with New Leaf Link. So I've, and I've also just learned about, um, I, I think I've learned from the families, the courage uh, and the difficulties and challenges involved with um, having a child with disabilities. Um, I'm a parent, I've got two young adult children um, and they're, so my, I, I don't have that background. So I'm learning by observing and now being part of these other families and seeing really, I think I would use the word courage again, you know, the courage and resilience of these families uh, as they uh, bring their children up lovingly in the world. Great, so Gary, tell me about this song, the title of it and yeah. the inspiration behind it. On this one particular day, we got a big flip chart out and we, we made it, we said to ourselves explicitly, okay, we're gonna write a song today and uh, friendships is one of the things that New Leaf Link is all about. So we looked at, at friends and one of the participants, his name is Michael. Uh, he said, he just sort of blurted out, you know, uh, we were talking about friends and he mentioned the fact that about a true, true friend, you know, a kind of a double, uh, you know, intensified, beautiful friend. And so we focused on that, what it means to have a true friend in your life, someone that can be with you when, um, when you're happy and you've got things to share, your friend, you're able to give those things away. If you're having uh, hard times and difficult times in your life, you've got a friend who will help you there. So we, we basically looked at, uh, at you know, this concept of just having a real, a good friend in your life. And the chorus of the song, you know, is, is uh, a true, true friend, you know, with a hand to hold and a hand to lend. And if you are lucky, and I hope that you are, your true, true friend loves you just as you are. Great, Gary. Let's hear the song, and, and thanks for talking to me. Great. Today. Thank you. With a true, true friend, a true, true friend, with a hand to hold or a hand to lend. And if you are lucky, and I hope that you are, your true, true friend loves you just as you are. Having a friend is a beautiful thing It's like having a beautiful song to sing And having a beautiful song to sing It's like having 